course, as Miss America, you were probably the most popular girl in the country. Oh, goodness, sometimes. You never know. Um, every once in a while, Santa Claus went out over me at elementary schools, you know, things like that. Um, when I went to school visits, actually, a lot of the kids would ask, where's Captain America? Aren't you married to Captain America? So I think I wasn't quite as popular with maybe the boys in the school. So you never know. <laughs> Well, I love that Miss America is kind of like a dream come true. You know, it's something every girl dreams about, but only a very few girls can get to be Miss America, and you did. What What do you think was your secret of success? What did you have that nobody else had? Well, quite honestly, I actually didn't even dream of being Miss America growing up. Um, I was, I never watched the pageant. I never, when I was little, I didn't dress up as a princess. I dressed up as a lawyer in a business suit and carried a briefcase around around <laughs> because that's what I wanted to do in the future. I wanted to become a judge and I wanted to go into politics and become president. So that was always my goal since I was about six years old. And so I think more than anything going into this, it wasn't about just the competition. It was about so much more being a well-rounded person, being a woman of God, trying to showcase that to the world. And I think more than anything, this organization encompasses all of that. Trying to find a woman to be an example and a role model to young girls in the country especially. and to exemplify what we hold dear. And so you can't only think of the competition. It's not a one-night event. It's life in general. It's a year-long job. It's a, it's a very difficult job. It's strenuous. It's tiring. And you have to be willing to take on that challenge. And now that you've been through it, have your goals changed? Do you still want to be a lawyer and the president? Yes, actually. This has only more uh, solidified that in my mind, that I would, I'm going to college next year, starting college, to uh, study government. I'd like to go to law school and go into criminal prosecution first. And this has really, truly shown me that that's what I want to be involved in, um, that I so enjoy being able to simply impart my views and values on other people and try to share with them whatever I can, uh, to go around the country and try to find ways to relate to those all over the nation and it's a truly a, a difficult calling and very you have to sacrifice a lot for it but I think I'm I'm looking forward to it and I think it's truly what we need right now in this nation is especially more young people to be willing to rise to that challenge and I hope to see that in the future yeah you're right because most young people that I talk to they don't say oh I want to grow up to be the president anymore and that's kind of sad how would you encourage kids to get involved in their communities and get involved in politics and things like that? Well, I think more than anything, I try to stress the fact that all it takes for evil to triumph is for good men to stand back and do nothing. And I think so many times adults are, are guilty of it too, just taking an apathetic view and saying, well, it's so terrible, it's so dirty, it's so messy. And so many people have told me, made those comments, why would you want to get into politics? It's a mess, it's a, it's a snake pit, stay out of there. But I think that's all the more reason to get involved. I mean, that's all the more reason to try to shine a light in a dark place and and to try to change things and so we have to realize as young people especially the world that we are going to be giving to our children and our grandchildren is directly affected by what we're doing today and so we have to step up and make our voice heard and change our country for the better and make it what we want it to be and what we want our children to experience I agree it's be the change you want to see in the world exactly oh absolutely and and when you start changing yourself first then you can that starts to spread into the rest of your sphere of influence, those who you're an example to. And so many times we think it's too much, I'm too overwhelmed, I'm not going to do anything about it. But even the smallest thing can make such a difference. Yes, I think girls especially need to hear this and you're a wonderful example to them. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure and an honor. Very good. And you thank look you. gorgeous. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.